Welcome to the Faith Heart and Homestead. Tonight, we have a really special job here. We are grinding up all of this meat here using the old school suction cup hand grinder. We're putting all the finished product into here. And when we're done, we are going to utilize this to make farmer sausage. Mm. Goat farmer sausage. Yep, this is goat meat that we're dealing with here. There's the bones that I uh, just cleaned up. I already dealt with the stewing meat. The trim is going to go to the dogs. And I think we have about eight pounds worth of meat here. So we'll get a few packages of sausage. We got a few packages of uh, stewing meat. We're going to have one for dinner tonight, actually. And uh, yeah, it's going to work. hopefully work out really well for us. So here we go. Go ahead. What is this, Dad? That stuff there is called silver skin. It's a connective tissue that kind of sheaths all the muscles and meat and whatnot, made out of collagen. Um, so it's not going to hurt you, it's not bad for you, but I'd cut off as much of it as I could. But there's still going to be some of it in there. Okay, so we're done the grinding process. And that was uh, took quite a while, but we got through it. Um, we got about seven pounds of ground goat meat and we have this uh, original Wild West homestyle farmer sausage package that we got from Canadian Tire a couple years ago and uh, this is by no means a product uh, evaluation or anything like that but it's just what we have right we have some 32 millimeter sausage casings collagen um, seasoning mix it looks like about a third of a cup um, we use a little under half of that because we have only seven pounds of meat. And this is for a 20 pound batch. And then we have this curing salt here. I'll just, I don't know, use, I'll use a little bit of it. Again, a little bit less than half. And we're supposed to mix it into, um, calls to mix it into a liter because we have less than half. I'm going to use 400 mils. I might even dump, yeah, I'll probably use 350. So I'm going to dump a little bit off of that and I'll mix everything in. Okay, there we have it. We mixed it all up. And yes, this is a shaker, but I can't find the lid and the shaker for it. So I just uh, use a spoon and dump it in to the meat. Everything was dissolved and I'm going to start mixing it up. There's the meat with the seasoning mix. And I mean, I just, I use this because it's what we have, but really, you know, we could have made up something pretty easily out of our spice drawer with some, you know, some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cumin, you know, pretty much you name it. Um, wherever your imagination takes you is uh, where you could go with that. So I'll set up the sausage maker and uh, a sausage stuffer, a hand stuffer, and we'll uh, get it stuffing these things. Okay, here we go. We have it hooked up now. The casing is on the 17 millimeter uh, horn, I guess it's called. There's our mix, and here's our handheld, hand-operated stuffer. We've got some bypass happening up here, which is kind of a nuisance. And I've lost the bolts, so it is C-clamped to the counter. Uh, but it is working. We're making the sausages, so say four inches long. And I don't look good to me, so we'll see how many we get out of them. Okay, and we have recruited a second set of hands on this here, so I will squeeze some through. Actually goes pretty well. How's that? A little more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Make some real nice go. bratwurst sized sausages here. These are going to be real nice. I can't wait to cook some up. And there we have it. Our seven pounds yielded 35 really nice, we'll call them four to five inch bratwursts. And then we have a little bit of the bulk that we are. What well, couldn't go in, we're going to cook it in the wok here and just to give it a taste tester. Hang these up for a little bit to dry them out and then we're good to go. So that's how it worked. So with the hand stuffer here, the one thing that we found when you're wrapping them is that you want to alternate how you twist it. Twist it one way, the next one twist it the other way, or you'll wind up unraveling your sausages. So anyways, 
we're pretty excited about this. First time we've ever made sausages here. So we can't wait to eat these. God bless you from the homestead. Have a good night.